Right. It's been a little over a year since President Yaya Jame fled the Gambia to live in exile. He's currently in Equatorial Guinea. Now, human rights investigators say they have evidence which could be used to bring Mr. Jame to trial on murder charges. Now, if they succeed, it will be down to the determination of the only survivor of one of the worst massacres of Jame's 22 years in power. Alex Duval-Smith traveled to central Ghana to meet him. Here is his story. This cemetery is where Martin Chire's dream is buried. He'd wanted to go to Europe. On the way, in the Gambia, he met with the brutality of Yaya Jame's regime. The migrants were accused of being part of a coup plot. In the middle of the night, they were taken to be shot. Only Chere got away. I jumped from the pickup to the forest and I heard a noise from at the back there. Who is that? But I did not look back. Start running. And the gunshots and the bullets followed past over where I fell. They threw the torchlight and I heard the guy shouting, God save us, God save us, and the gunshot follows. Jame reluctantly left the Gambia after 22 years in power. He fled to Equatorial Guinea. Talk to different people. The time I was about to jump from pickup, and I tell the guys, my hand is no more in the rope. I get my hand off and say, it's God who wants to save you, so that you tell the word, what here Jame have done, and how he killed us. Martin Chire launched his mission. He traveled hundreds and hundreds of miles around Ghana. He painstakingly traced mothers, widows, brothers and sisters. What's happening in this room today is historic. Martin and the victims' families are for the first time meeting international and local human rights campaigners. Their mission now is to fight for former President Yaya Jami to be extradited from Equatorial Guinea to face justice here in Ghana. An investigation by regional body ECOWAS found the migrants were killed by rogue elements. We have new information and it is clear that the migrants were not uh, killed by rogue elements, but that they were murdered by a paramilitary death squad, the junglers, that took its orders directly from Yaya Jame. Thirteen years on, Martin Chere has yet to find all the relatives. For what he has done, I want justice on behalf of my friends and me. So I want to see Yaya Jame in prison. Martin Chere never got to Europe. His dream is bigger now, to prove that one citizen's efforts can bring a leader to justice. Alex Duval-Smith, BBC News in Ghana. Well, the Africa Center for International Law and Accountability has told the BBC that the evidence against former President Jame is substantial and sufficient to force his extradition to face charges. The BBC's Thomas Nadi has been speaking to the organization's executive director in Ghana's capital, Accra. The people who committed these crimes uh, were under direct orders uh, by the president, Yaya Jame. Uh, this is the group that's called the junglers, and these junglers uh, take direct orders from Yaya Jame. How can you be sure that former President Yaya Jame gave the direct orders? The facts and circumstances as narrated by uh, 11 of the officials that were directly involved uh, suggest that when all of these was happening, uh, they were in direct contact with the former President Yaya Jame. Has there been any response from the former president? We put out this information today. Uh, there has been no response yet, but we expect that uh, he might come up with a response in his uh, exile state uh, of Equatorial Guinea. What will have to happen for there to be an extradition? First, uh, we would encourage the state of Ghana to uh, try to independently establish the facts which have been put forward. And then after that, uh, based on the nature of the facts and the evidence that they also uncover, uh, they will uh, seek uh, an extradition request from Equatorial Guinea. Now, isn't it wishful thinking that Equatorial Guinea will grant your extradition request? It's a legitimate question, but depending on the law that we are using, and some of this has uh, enforced its appearances, uh, also torture was involved. And under the torture convention to which the Equatorial Guinea uh, has ratified, uh, the state of Equatorial Guinea, if an extradition request is sent to them, will be under an obligation under international law
to extradite or prosecute. Have you met the president of Ghana? We have met with the president, and uh, you know we're quite hopeful that the president was, you know, was, is going to be seized of this matter. Uh, we can say, uh, without going into the details of our discussion, uh, that the president was engaged.